A fun night of fireworks ruined at Boynton Beach after a man says he was attacked for having a President Trump flag in his yard. South County reporter Miranda Christian spoke with the victim about how this all went down. Jeff Good tells me he was just enjoying the 4th of July when someone drove in the front of his house and told him he needs to take down this Trump flag. He was saying vile things about our president. Jeff Good says a man he doesn't know pulled up to his house and told him he needed to take down this flag in his front yard. Good says when he told him no, the man punched him. Right in the face. In fact, he kind of used like a claw method. Good says instinctively he tried to hit him back, but got his arm stuck in the man's car as he sped off. This is where it happened. Good says he was dragged about 30 feet. I have uh, uh, some, some bumps and bruises that I don't think you want to see. Scars were on his hands and elbow. Good filed a report with police and feels fortunate he walked away without more serious injuries. My, my political goal here is just to express my, my love for this president and for somebody to punch you in the face for just presenting a flag to the public. I mean, it's that's enough set right there. You can't have violence. Violence is not going to solve any any issues. Good's friend John Tarka Jr. said this kind of violence is not OK. He took to social media to try and find the driver of the car. I was glad to see that people that don't support the president said that this is unacceptable behavior. Good says his flag will stay in his front yard, that this is his right to show support for President Trump. He still will be the president tomorrow and the day after. So might as well keep the flag there today, tomorrow, and the day after. Good says he saw a small silver car, possibly a two-door. Boynton Beach police say anyone with any information should contact them. Reporting Boynton Beach, I'm Miranda Christian, WPTV News Channel 5.